reading mini lesson. Welcome to week two of remote learning. The learning target for this mini lesson is I can read a nonfiction text and identify the main topic and key details. Now, some key words in that learning target is nonfiction text. Nonfiction means not fake. Identify means that we are going to find. The main topic is what the text is mostly about, and key details are those facts that support the main topic or tells us more detail about the main topic. For our success criteria, how will we know we've learned what we're supposed to today? Well, our success criteria is, I will use a graphic organizer to write the main topic with three key details about hammerhead sharks. So scholars, our verb or what we're gonna do is use and the other verb is write. So we're gonna use what? A graphic organizer and you'll see that shortly. And we're going to use that graphic organizer to write. And that's how we're going to identify today. Our identifying is going to come through the written form. We're going to identify the main topic with three of those key details. And our topic today, our nonfiction topic, is hammerhead sharks. Here's our text. On the side, there are some annotating tools. There are three different types of underlines for our three key details. There's a highlight. Maybe we can use that for our main topic. And there's also a circle. Maybe we can use that for any vocabulary that we see that we might think is important. So we're going to read through the text one time. Um, and then the second time we read it, we can use these tools to help us annotate or close read the text. Hammerhead sharks. There are many different species of sharks. One very unique species is a hammerhead shark. Their name comes from the shape of their heads. Their heads look like the top of a hammer. The shape of the shark's head helps with predatory habits. These animals are carnivores. They hunt underwater animals such as stingrays. Another benefit to its head shape is better vision. The eyes are on the far sides of the head, of its head. This makes its vision a little better than other species of sharks. All right, scholars. So looking at this text, listening to this text, we're gonna read it a second time. And this time, we're going to try and figure out what is the main topic or what is the text mostly about? And then secondly, we're going to find three key details. All right, hammerhead sharks. There are many different species of sharks. One very unique species is a hammerhead shark. I'm going to stop right there because when I read the text the first time, this entire passage was talking about this hammerhead shark. I think this is the topic sentence or the main topic of the text. I also know that because there is a photograph, the text feature of a photograph of a hammerhead shark. So I'm gonna use the yellow annotation and I'm gonna highlight that sentence. That way I know that is my main topic. I'm gonna to continue reading. Their name comes from the shape of their heads. Their head, their heads look like the top of a hammer. The shape of the shark's head helps with its predatory habits. Wow, those three sentences talked about the head. I learned that the head is the shape of a hammer and that it helps with predatory habits. 
That sounds like a key detail that supports the main topic. So I'm going to use my annotation notes and I'm going to underline that key detail. We'll keep reading now. These animals are carnivores. They hunt. They hunt other underwater animals such as stingrays. Interesting. That sounds like another key detail that sh supports the main topic of the hammerhead shark. I'm going to use a different color. Now I also notice a vocabulary word in that key detail, the word carnivores. So I can use my red circle to circle that word. And if I use my context clues, context clues are words around that word. I think it means hunt other animals. I'm gonna keep reading to find my third key detail. Another benefit to its head shape is better vision. The eyes are on the far sides of its head. This makes its vision a little better than other species of sharks. Hmm, another key detail specific to the hammerhead shark. So I'm gonna use my third color to underline that key detail. The head shape makes better vision and it's really important to know that those eyes are on the far sides of its head. All right, so now I'm going to use my sentence stems to help me type into my graphic organizer, which is our success criteria. So the title of this passage is Hammer and Sharks. My main topic. So what was the text mostly about? Turn the question around. Race to respond. The Main topic is, I'm going to go back to my text. This text was mostly about the hammerhead shark. The main topic is about a very unique species called the hammerhead shark. The main topic is about a unique species of the hammer and shark, period. Now I need to fill in my three supporting details still using my sentence stems. One key detail is, going back to my text, their heads look like the top of a hammer and that helps them with predatory habits. Okay. So our first supporting detail, we can start off with the sentence. One supporting detail is, come back to the text, their heads look like the top of a hammer. The shark's head helps with its predatory habits. One supporting detail is, the shark's head is shaped like a hammer 
to help with its predatory habits. Looking for our next reporting detail. It's underlined in blue. It says the animals are carnivores. They hunt other underwater animals. So another supporting detail is the hammerhead shark hunts underwater. Come back to the text, double check. Oh, that's very important. I forgot that they are carnivores. Hammerhead sharks are carnivores, which means they eat meat. They eat meat. All right, now I'm looking for my third supporting detail. I underlined in green, its head shape is better vision. So one benefit is that it gives us better vision and it's on the far sides of its head. A third supporting detail is that the hammerhead shark's eyes are on the far sides of its head. It's a benefit to see better. All right, so going back to our success criteria, it was I will use a graphic organizer to write the main topic with three key details about hammerhead sharks. We definitely did that. And we made sure that we were using complete sentences with our sentence stems. That is our reading mini lesson for this week. And if you have any questions, please contact your teacher. Have a great time doing research on your nonfiction topic. Thanks.